everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, Analytics Advocate at Google, and today I'm joined by Jean Chan, who is a Product Manager on Google Analytics. Thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. So in this quick tip video, Jean is going to give us a walkthrough of the User Explorer reports in Google Analytics. Now this is a really cool new report that we launched earlier this year that really helps you to get more insight on the user level into what people are doing on your websites. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Jean. Awesome. Thanks, Krista. So let's hop right in. You can find the User Explorer report in the Audience section, right under the User Explorer section right there. Once you click on that, you'll see your first of two reports. Now, as Krista mentioned, the power of User Explorer is really to give you user-level insights on your users. You're not simply looking at just groups of customers now. You're looking at a single customer. And a lot of times, you're interested in perhaps your highest spending customer or your most engaged customer. And with User Explorer, you can both identify and drill deeper into that user. So let's look at this report in a little more detail. On the top here, we see client ID. So client ID is our Google Analytics anonymous ID that represents a user on a single device. This also works with your user ID view, so a user could be cross-device also. On the top here, we have several different metrics that you might be interested in that you can sort by. So right now, we're sorting by sessions, uh, and that shows the user that's the most engaged uh, within this time period. But we can also sort by something like revenue to answer the question of, who are my top spending customers? So right here, we have it, your top 10 spending customers. So perhaps there's a little more information that we can get. And with User Explorer, we can do that. So let's click on number three here. And I've loaded it up for us, so we can show it right away. So the User Explorer report comes along with the User Profile report. And that really shows uh, the profile of the user. And it starts with the left-hand side here. You see his, uh, his client ID, which we talked about earlier. You also see some acquisition dimensions about him. You see uh, the starting date, the first visit date, uh, which channel uh, you acquired them from, which devices that they've used, whether it's desktop, mobile, tablet, and also some custom dimensions that you might have set in the past. On the top again, we have the metrics about this customer. But the most interesting part of this report is really in the middle right here. And this is uh, the history of the user uh, on your site. And also, you can kind of take a quick walkthrough and see what this user has done. So he's visited on multiple days. And you see on the first top here, you can see the number of sessions and whether or not a purchase was made and whether or not a goal conversion has happened. So this looks like an interesting session to us. So why don't we pop right in? So you can see the session, how much time they spent, what device they used, and what source they came from. So you can drill even deeper on a hit level, on an event level, to see in addition what they've done. So we can quickly scan here and see, oh, there's a purchase at 1.47 PM. Let's click here. Drilling deeper allows you to see the details. It allows you to see things like uh, the products they purchased, um, the number of quantity, the overall revenue. But in addition to that, you can see the steps preceding it. You can see uh, they're stepping through the cart. Uh, they're walking through, adding it to your cart, checking it out, making the purchase, and perhaps what they do after. So that's a quick summary of User Explorer. That's great, Gene. Thank you so much. I think this report is really powerful because as you just showed us, you can watch that user throughout their whole session to see what might be the triggers that um, cause them to add to cart, to complete a purchase, or what might have been standing in their way. And then you can use that information to further optimize your campaigns or your website later on. So thank you for joining us for this walkthrough of the User Explorer report, and hopefully you get something out of this.